The USS Porter is a US destroyer that's pretty much just a USS Summers at a lower battle rating. While it might not seem balanced at 4.3, I have a theory for why Gaijin gave it this BR. The ship is generally referred to as the Porter. Who else has this name? Sam Porter Bridges from Death Stranding. What do Death Stranding and the USS Porter have in common? Lower ratings than people initially expected. The Porter has eight 5-inch dual-purpose guns split into four turrets. This is the same Armin as the USS Summers, but 0.3 lower. The stock HE shell is generally the best shell as it has the highest HE charge of all the anti-ship shells. There are two common shells, which are effectively semi-armor piercing, but those carry a much smaller HE charge and don't have too much pen. Finally, the Porter also gets a variable time to fuse HG shell, which explodes in proximity to aircraft. I'd recommend bringing mostly HE with a few HEVT for anti-air duties, as the anti-air weapons themselves are a bit underwhelming. The Porter has two Chicago pianos and two dual mount 50 cals. The Chicago pianos on the Porter are surprisingly effective, despite the bad reputation they have. The 50s are alright at close range, but by the time a plane reaches this distance, they're likely to be dropping their ordnance anyway. The main anti-air weapon is actually the eight main guns, as the VT fuses are excellent at taking down or deterring planes. I'd recommend firing a single gun at a time with the ranging shot key behind, as this makes it a lot easier to adjust for misses and find a lead on the target. The Porter has two torpedo launchers, both of which have four torpedoes. These also come with one mid-combat reload. These torpedoes are pretty average with a range of 9 kilometers and a speed of 78 kilometers per hour, but can be an effective zoning tool or spam down a choke point to get some easy kills. The Porter has roughly four-fifths the crew of the Summers, but both have similar armor. The Porter can take a few hits from other destroyers, but generally it's best to disable or kill enemy ships before they can properly return fire. The Porter tops out at 69 kilometers per hour, has a good turning radius and pretty good acceleration, making the mobility overall above average. The amazing firepower, below average survivability, and above average mobility all push the Porter towards a glass cannon playstyle. The American 5 inch guns have a higher damage per second than any other country's 5 inch guns, so combined with having 8 of them, you'll have more firepower than most vehicles you can face. At 4.3, you'll be facing destroyers most of the time. 5.7 sucks up most of the cruisers and 4.7 destroyers, so down tiers are quite common. Against destroyers, the Porter can be used very aggressively, disabling targets before they can fight back or even facing down multiple ships at once. If you do face cruisers, try to avoid them by using cover where you can. In EC, the Porter is the best starting ship for any country. Since it's just the Summers that lost some weight, it has the firepower of a 4.7 at 4.3. Use this to quickly knock out some enemy destroyers with the overwhelming firepower, then pull out something like an Atlanta, Brooklyn, or Pensacola after dying. Since the Porter outclasses ships like the Type 1936B, Moskva, Yugomo, or Tribal, you can be one of the first players to get out of the cruiser, and are at less of a disadvantage if you run out of the SP for cruisers after dying. For modifications, I'd recommend the following order. Toolset, Fire Protection, Rudder Replacement, HEVT Shells, Shrapnel Protection, Propeller Replacement, Engine Maintenance, and then the three turret rotation upgrades. The most important crew skills are main caliber reload speed, crew interchangeability, leadership, ship control, and fire prevention. Now that you know how to use the USS Porter, get out there and prove that America is always the best. Thanks for watching. I'm going to be trying to make more reviews, but with college starting, I'm going to have to slow down for a few weeks. I'll keep gradually working on some new ones, but it'll take a bit longer than it did previously.